Hey guys, welcome to a little chat about getting the most out of your military or strict kettlebell press. As the press um, evolves, the strict press is the beginner of the, of the pressing world, right? When we strict press, we gotta understand that the kettlebell clean is what gets us into the rack position. So to get the most out of your press, your clean should really be squared away, like very squared away. So if you're having problems getting into the rack and your press just ain't feeling right, always walk backwards, right? The clean is preparing for your press, so focus on the clean. So some food for thought on the strict press. Um, the big thing is, it's understanding that when you land this kettlebell in the rack position, you should have this nice vertical forearm. If you're going to press weight and the forearm loses vertical this way or that way, the load is gonna be exponentially heavier, right? So we need to create a press groove. There's no right or wrong press groove. It's really based on your body. Um, so anyways, if I were to just do an air um, press, I would get my clean, land locked and loaded. In this position, I'm creating something to press off of. If I'm loose, the weight's gonna press me to the ground. I need to create a pillar of strength to press off of. And how I do this, I think about spreading the floor, uh, quads and hammies, glutes, core is braced. I'm like this really strong pillar of strength that I can press this load off of. If my glutes turn off as I'm trying to press, I lose the fight, right? So to be able to press well, you have to have a solid base, you have to maintain a vertical form, and your clean cannot take away from your press, right? So anyways, how I think about it, I get set up, just like everything else, nice and square, I get my rack, find this nice, strong, connected position, and then I think about driving myself under the bell. <clears throat> I'm pushing the earth down as the bell is going up. I'm not thinking about pressing it up, right? That, that's not the thought. It's like staying tight and driving yourself under the bell. And then of course you always park it safely. Now, getting back to the point of the clean, if my clean, bangs me around and I gotta spend a lot of time trying to fix that, I'm losing potential press power. Every second wasted trying to find your strong press position is taking away from your overall strength, right? So the clean is very important. And breathing for all this, there's several tips and tricks to getting your maximal press. Um, in strong first, we use a trigger technique, which is, is a way to fire through your whole body to get this press up. And that would look something like getting your hike, getting tight, hands are fairly loose, right when you get ready to press, trigger, send it up. And then controlling the rack. It doesn't have to be a serious negative where you're fighting it the whole time. You just kinda wanna let it drop in, right? So it'd be clean, trigger, control, reload, trigger, Control, reload. Let's say you're on your fifth press of your, your strict pressing and it's getting heavy, but you still wanna fight and get some growth for it. During the park, say this was my fifth and heavy, right? I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I get it up and I can safely kind of bring it in and absorb with the bell to get it down, right? The key is, is parking it safely. But if you're gonna be working your strict press, try and be in a working load that you can get it up strictly and park it strictly, right? That, that would be your overall goal. So, couple from here. And I want you to focus on the vertical forearm. Get your clean. Set it up. Vertical forearm up. Vertical forearm down and then park. And guys, things to remember that we all kind of have our own press groove. The start of the press is extremely important. The finish of the press, but what happens in between is depending on your body and what your body needs the most, right? So just keep in mind, it starts vertical forearm, lats connected, knuckles pointing down range. As it goes overhead, there's no right or wrong about how much you have to wing, right? You could overwing, you could underwing. It's just gotta be what works for your body. And then as you come up, you just wanna finish at the top, 
Vertical impact. If that means your arms this way, your wrist is that way a little bit, I wouldn't get uh, over concerned about that. I would just get concerned about owning the finish, re-owning the rack, owning the finish, re-owning the rack, right? Don't speed through this shit. Own each position. It'll just make you better, faster. Roger that. That's some food for thought on pressing. <laughs>